rent for this long weekend. Most of the good ones are already checked out. And, of course, the Christmas movie that everyone wants is A Wonderful Life. But what about a Thanksgiving movie? Tonight, J.C. Corcoran talks with actor Steve Martin about a familiar film which was partially shot in St. Louis. You know you're in St. Louis? Yes, I do. Despite what these scenes around Lambert Field might suggest, Steve Martin has fond memories of the month he spent here shooting the 1987 comedy Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. The story of a businessman trying to make it home to Chicago in time for Thanksgiving. Along the way, everything that can go wrong does. And along the way, he gets caught up with an obnoxious but big-hearted traveling salesman played by the late John Candy. I don't want you to sit here and kind of mourn the death of John, but tell me something you remember about your months together doing planes, trains, and automobiles. It was the first day of shooting. He brought all this exercise equipment in. Yes, you know, <laughs> jogging things, stationary bikes and weights and everything, and then never touched it. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a coincidence or what? <laughs> also, he he was a brilliant actor, especially in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I think it was his best work. You know, the, the first cut of the movie was four and a half hours long, so I think two hours got cut out. I like, I like me. My wife likes me. I saw him do scenes that are, aren't in the movie that are just breathtaking. And if some of those scenes seem almost too real, Martin told me it may have been a case of more than just good acting on Candy's part. Well, he was a very sweet guy, very sweet and complicated. And so he was always friendly, always outgoing and, you know, funny and nice and polite. But I could tell he had kind of a little broken heart inside him. And so two characters in a movie who appear to have nothing in common find they're probably more alike than they ever thought. It's John Candy's finest hour and a great message for the holidays. J.C. Corcoran, News 4.